Hey guys, thank you so much for taking the time today of actually stepping onto your mat with me. So today is day 14. I am so pumped about this practice. It's going to be somewhat of a gentle-ish, hatha, slow practice. And we will be focusing primarily on the heart, so opening up the heart. Now, a few days ago, we did a little bit of heart openers, and this practice is going just to kind of feed on that, so build upon that. Ideally, what we want to do with the heart openers, aside from the physical benefits of really drawing those shoulders back and extending the heart forward, especially if we are working at a desk on our laptops or even on our phones, which is pretty much everyone nowadays. What it also does, it kind of helps melting the heart. So allowing a little bit of grace into our day-to-day, -day, allowing a little bit more of self-love, a little bit more self-acceptance. So that is what we want to be nourishing throughout the practice. If at any point throughout your next 30 minutes, you find that you are wanting to push yourself a little bit more, but not coming from a point of love. You're coming from a point of really just like struggling through and just pushing through. I would invite you to ease off. What we are wanting to do is to allow that nourishing, that nurturing, that kind of energy just to kind of come through and just move in and out of those postures. So let's begin. Let's come all the way down onto our mats, relaxing those shoulders, lengthening out your spine with your inhale. And as you exhale, just gently soften into this space. Inhale fully, lengthening out your spine, just feeling that life force energy entering your body. And as you exhale, softening into the space on your mat, relaxing your muscles. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. Continuing with this breath. you've come to your mat today with a heavy heart, just put a little more focus into your heart, into that area in your body, in your psyche. Whatever has occurred that's been creating that heavy heart in you, I invite you to really just sit with that sense. I'll go to the extent of saying, sitting in that discomfort, because it's never really comfortable. There may be pain, there may be loss, grief, maybe even anger. As you sit, in that discomfort. See if you can transcend and just see yourself, see that moment in time as you were looking from above as a third person. however long it takes for you to notice a healing in you. Just let that be. Don't really rush it. And if you've come to your practice today just feeling lighthearted, let yourself cultivate that.
have a sense of grounding in your sit bones and your feet, maybe even your palms pressing down. And continue with that lightness in your heart. If you'd like to dedicate your practice to someone or something, even a memory, I invite you to really think of that as an intention in this moment right now. And just let the energy that comes through you throughout your practice to be given as a gift. On your next inhale, turning your palms to face upwards, begin to reach your arms all the way up above. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart and gently pressing your thumbs up against your chest, just finding that connection between your palms, that generosity that comes from giving from your hands, giving outwards, and the connection with your heart, your chest, your sense of being. Slowly bowing down towards your heart here. And with your inhale, slowly begin to reach your chin up, releasing your palms to your sides and blinking your eyes open. Extending your legs outwards, flexing into your toes, but take a bend in your knees. So we're moving kind of into staff pose, into Dandasana. But with your knees bent, begin to reach your chest forward. Belly continues to draw in and slowly begin to walk your palms forward towards your feet. Relaxing those shoulders down your back and reaching your chest forward. So we're not aiming for your forehead to reach your knees. We're actually aiming for the chest to reach forward. So your belly may be resting on your thighs. Your chest may be resting on your knees. You're drawing those shoulders back. So you are noticing that your shoulder blades are pulling in towards each other and your arms are relatively engaged here. It's in these poses where we're holding them and we're actually sitting still that the challenge doesn't really come into your physical being, but it moves up into your mindset, into your mind, into your psyche. We're always, or for the most part, we're usually on the run, jumping from one thing to the next, that we find that when we are still, there's nothing happening. We just want to move on. So that's a challenge for you right now. As you press your palms down, pay attention to the fingertips pressing down onto your mat. Maybe notice the texture in your fingertips and draw your attention into this moment. If you like to walk your heels a little bit further forward, do that. Continue with the lengthening in your upper back. We're not going too, too deep. We haven't really warmed up just yet. We're just drawing a little bit of awareness into our body for one more breath. As you inhale, slowly walking your palms in towards you, swivel your legs towards the back and moving into a tabletop position. Palms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes in. Pressing your palms down, so really feeling that connection. As you inhale, slowly begin to reach your chest forward, tailbone up. Exhaling, pressing your palms down, upper back, curves down, tailbone points down, look down. Inhale, slowly reaching your chest forward, just noticing the movement in your spine. 
and letting this breath be super long. Exhale as you press your palms down, tailbone points down, look down and back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reaching your chest forward and up. Last one, inhale, reach your chest forward and up. Exhale, chin in towards your chest. As you inhale, slowly coming back to center, taking your knees out wide, big toes come in towards each other and begin to reach your palms forward. As you relax those shoulders down your back, so you're drawing your attention towards your shoulders and your shoulder blades. As you press your palms down, you're engaging your arms here, making note that your shoulders are in their sockets and not up towards your ears. It's not necessary that you have your forehead on your mat like I have right now. You can always bring a block, placing a block underneath your chest, your belly, or your forehead. Continuing to press your palms down and away. You're externally rotating your upper arms. So rather than internal, which will create a little bit more of a hunched look here, you're relaxing them down and towards the outside. Sinking a little bit deeper if you'd like. Avoid placing your elbows on your mat right now. With your next inhale, slowly coming back up into a tabletop position, readjusting your knees and tucking your toes, readjusting your palms as well. With your inhale, reaching your chest forward and up into cow. As you exhale, pressing your palms down and circling your upper back. Inhale, coming up into cow. Relaxing those shoulders, chest reaches forward. Exhale. Inhale once again. And exhale. We're going to add on to your cat cow. Inhale, reaching your chest forward and up. Look up. Exhale, moving into cat and sinking back. As if you're sitting on your heels with your upper back curved. Inhale, shifting forward into cow. Exhale as you sink back, curving your upper back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, sink back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale. One more inhale.
Inhale into tabletop position, hips over top of your knees, walking your palms further forward. We're going to take puppy pose. So from here, you're externally rotating your shoulders and your upper arms and sink all the way back. Tailbone points up towards the sky. Now, if this is where you're at right now today, then continue this way. You can always grab a block and place your forehead down or sink a little bit deeper. As you exhale fully, you're wanting to pull your chest down. You're creating a bit of a back bend here. Pressing your palms down, maybe drawing your palms in towards you without physically doing so. So you're pressing your palms down and pulling them in. Letting your upper arms do their things. You're still working with your arms here so they do feel engaged. Belly continues to draw in. We're not here for long. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, slowly walking your palms underneath your shoulders, relaxing your shoulders down your back, and slowly begin to lift your hips off of your mat, moving into a slow down dog. Continuing with your arms as they are, coming up onto your toes and bending deeply into both of your knees. Let your head kind of shake from side to side, releasing any tension you may be holding on in your neck, pedaling out your feet. So you're still drawing your shoulder blades on your back and opening up those arms. Avoiding that curving in your upper back. You're pressing a lot of pressure on your hands by doing so. So if that's the case, bend into your knees and begin to draw your chest in towards your thighs. On your next inhale, bending deeply into both of your knees, look up at your hands and when you're ready, step or jump forward. Inhale as you look forward, taking your sit bones towards the back. Exhale as you fold. Take a gentle bend into both of your knees here and interlace your fingers behind your low back. From here, begin to press your fingers towards the back of the room, reaching your chest forward and fold a little bit deeper. You can either keep your arms as they are, or if this pose is already a part of your practice, begin to draw your hands as if they're aiming towards the top of your head. Continuing to draw those shoulder blades back so you're not letting those shoulders kind of sink in towards your ears. Reaching your chest forward and maybe draw your chest in towards your thighs a little bit more. Keeping the bend in your knees here. And when you're ready, very slowly releasing that interlaced fingertips come out in front of you. Inhale as you look forward, lengthening out your chest, lengthening out your spine. As you exhale, release back down. We'll do that once again. Inhale, look forward, staying up on your fingertips. Exhale, release. As you place your palms down, inhale, stepping your right foot towards the back of your mat. Option to come down into a low crescent lunge or staying up high if you want a little bit more of a stronger practice, drawing a little bit of inner fire. Drawing your outer hips in towards each other here and staying up on your fingertips. So as you inhale, you're reaching your chest forward. Belly continues to draw in just to allow for that support in your lower back. 
Don't forget to draw your outer hips in towards each other for that stability. As you exhale, right palm steps off of your mat, placing your left palm over top of your left thigh just to allow for that extra twist looking upwards. Relaxing that right shoulder down. Inhale as you reach your left arm up. Relaxing that left arm, that, that left shoulder, I'm sorry, and look up. So you're avoiding for your left knee to open up wide or coming in. Letting it remain over top of your left ankle. Good. As you exhale, both of your palms come down. Shift or not really shift. <laughs> Turn your back foot to a 90 degree angle here. Keeping your left knee over top of your left ankle and circle up into a warrior two. Relaxing those shoulders down your back. As you inhale, gently straighten out your left knee. Continuing with those arms to a T. And as you exhale, bending into that left knee. Pressing that right pinky toe down. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, reaching with the heart. And as you exhale, bow along the inside of your left leg. Shoulders remain. As you inhale, slowly releasing your palms down, step forward, fold forward. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale as you release. Taking a gentle bend into both of your knees, interlace your fingers behind you once again, pressing your fingers towards the back of the room and gently bow a little bit further down. As you slowly release your fingertips out in front of you, Inhale, gently straightening out your legs. Look forward, lengthening out your spine. Exhale as you fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Palms come down. Inhale, stepping your left foot towards the back of your mat. And I invite you to take the same pose that you took on the right. So if you place your right knee down, place your left knee down. Or stay up high, keeping that right knee over top of your right ankle. Look forward, lengthening out your spine and reaching your chest further forward, coming up onto your fingertips. Outer hips drawing towards each other to allow for that stability. And reach, reach, reach. As you exhale, left palm steps off of your mat, right palm over top of your right knee. Pressing down in a way to allow for that twist. Relaxing your left shoulder down, and when you're ready, inhale, reaching your right arm up. Continuing to draw your outer hips in. As you exhale, palms come down, spin and plant your back foot to a 90, pressing your left tiny toe, pinky toe down, and when you're ready, inhale as you cartwheel up, moving into warrior two. Relaxing those shoulders down your back, arms to a T. Inhale, gently straighten out your right knee. And when you're ready, bending deeply into that right knee. So if you find that your warrior is reaching forward, imagine that you're wanting to touch that back wall with your left fingertips and come back to center. From here, interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale as you reach your chest forward. And with your exhale, bow along the inside of your right knee. You're pressing that right foot down, but don't forget about the left. As you exhale, releasing your palms down coming up onto your left toes, and when you're ready, step back into a downward facing dog. 
as you're gently bending into one knee and then bending into the next. And when you're ready, bending deeply into both of your knees, placing your knees down, untuck your toes. You can either take the full expression of child's pose, which is what I'm going to be doing right now, or take your knees out wide and keep your palms and your arms facing forward. For the full expression, placing your forehead down onto your mat and your arms right alongside your body. You're not necessarily relaxing those shoulders. You continue to draw those shoulder blades in towards each other and just hold here. Drawing your attention towards your upper back and inviting your breath in between your shoulder blades. As you inhale, begin to place your palms underneath your shoulders and sitting up on your heels. From here, swiveling your legs out in front of you, moving into Dandasan. So kind of how we began practice, but going a little bit deeper, taking out any extra flesh from your sit bones and flexing into your toes. Palms come alongside your hips, pressing your palms down. That inevitably makes that your chest reaches forward enough so you're still creating a bit of a back bend here. You're curving your back by reaching that chest forward, drawing those shoulders back and looking forward and a little bit up. So we're not letting the head just fall. And from here, slowly begin to walk your palms towards your feet. If you like to take that gentle bend into both of your knees, go ahead and do that. I'm going to keep them nice and long, continuing with the flex in the feet, lengthening out the chest and begin to walk your palms further forward. Just stop the moment that you feel that lengthening in the backs of your legs and your hamstrings. Avoid keeping your shoulders up towards your ears. You're still reaching the chest forward. little bit further forward if your body's saying, you know what, we can do this. On your next inhale, slowly begin to walk your palms in towards you. Bending into your knees, come a little bit further forward towards the top of your mat. Not too, too much. Taking your legs out in front of you. Now we're going to come into kind of like the laying on the beach pose, bending into your elbows, placing your elbows underneath your shoulders, taking out any extra flesh from those sit bones, flexing into your toes, pressing your palms down and reaching your chest forward. Good. Now here, if you would like, very slowly begin to take your head back. I personally do not find this comfortable at all in my neck. I have some sort of a tension on the left side of my neck for years I've had it. So this doesn't feel comfortable to me at all. So I just stay here for maybe about a breath or two. So you're more than welcome to remain here. If you want to come out on your next exhale, begin to bring your chin in towards your chest and just stay here. Pressing your palms down, reaching that chest a little bit further up. Let's draw those kneecaps in towards you. Good. And from here on your next exhale, release all the way down. Good. On your inhale, drawing your right knee in towards your chest, placing your right arm in a cactus arm or straightening it out to a T. And as you exhale, begin to draw that 
right knee over towards your left, making sure that your right shoulder blade remains onto your mat. You can always have a pillow or a block for your foot rather than it be dangling there or hook it right behind your left leg. As you inhale, slowly coming back to center. Releasing your left arm, releasing your right leg, and let's switch sides. I'm not going to be able to go too, too far in this one because of the wall. But you get the idea. With your right palm over top of your left knee, and gently twist. Making sure that that left elbow and shoulder remain on your mat. Inhale, slowly coming back to center. Drawing both of your knees in towards your chest. Just allow yourself to stay here. Relaxing those shoulders down, reaching your chest forward. And as you exhale, slowly drawing your forehead up towards your kneecaps, drawing your kneecaps up towards your forehead and just curving a little bit here. Hold, hold, hold. And as you exhale, release, taking your heels towards the corners of your mat, turning your palms facing upwards, relaxing your shoulders down, and allow yourself to close your eyes. Deep, long inhale right into your belly. Exhale fully through your mouth. One more time, inhale. Exhale fully. Drawing your shoulders towards the top of your mat, so really relaxing them down. Creating that space between your shoulders and your ears. Maybe rock your head from side to side just to allow for that awareness of any extra tension you may still be holding on to. Inviting that sense of gratitude into this space. The fact that you have taken 30 minutes out of your day for yourself, for your practice, that's something to be grateful for. I invite you to continue in Shavasana, just breathing into your belly, and with every exhale, drawing your belly button in towards your spine, and maybe exhaling through your mouth, that would be so awesome. Finding a moment to smile towards anything and anyone that you are most grateful for today. And whenever you're ready, slowly drawing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs up against your chest just as we began practice today. Exhale. 
light in me salutes the light in each and every one of you. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day or evening.